Welcome to Just Campers and welcome to the NEC. We're here at the Classic Motor Show. This is our stand, check it out, rather cool. But also, there is loads of stuff out there. So let's go and have a look. So the first car we had to check out on the Maguire stand, check out this stunning 1954 VW Beetle. Absolutely superb. Owned by Lee Irving um, and it's been re-restored but beautifully done. I love the period correct wheels and they're super rare by the way. Really love those bucket seats. Uh, I love the way that they've kept the original seats and re-trimmed them. They look really good. Another really cool VW on the Maguire stand is this 1972 Danbury conversion T2. Look at it, it's awesome. Now the guy that owns this used to walk to school past it and he's known, it, known about it for years and years and years. And he's only the second owner and he's carried out a beautiful sympathetic restoration. Check out the inside, look at this. I love the detail he's gone to. Even the lino is the correct lino for period match of the, when, at, at the time. And I believe the lino came from his mother's late grandmother's house, something like that, so he repurposed it for the van. What a cool story. And the owner's actually restored, uh, put the vehicle back together himself, so he's done, redid all the inside as was, and the exterior refit up. But he, I think he had help doing uh, small amounts of welding and obviously the paint job, but what a stunning van, really cool. Check this out. I really love the ride height of this. Um, it's a replica KDF Beetle. Amazing amount of work has gone into this. This actually left the factory as a 1957 saloon. Now it's obviously splitty. I love these little headlight covers. Overall, what a fantastic look. Look at the simplicity of that in there. That is really, really cool. I really like that. So cool. Oh, here we have Mark II Golf GTI. Again, don't see many, very many of them on the road anymore. And here we have a Brazilian. Look at that. Obviously on air, must be on air. Look how low it is. What a cool looking car. Love it. And apparently this car has never been welded, so it's very original. It's had some paint work, but never been welded. Wow. The Joker, the Joker buggy. You can actually win this one. I think I'm definitely gonna put five quid in and see if I can win it. Why not? Come along, put your five pound in. Wow, so we've got a bit of a snakeskin affair going on in here. So the, the centre of the seat, the tunnel. You can see how it's all lit up in the back. Brilliant. Love it. Someone's going to be quite happy to win that, aren't they? I would. It's great. Wowza. Look at the detail in that. That takes some cleaning. That is amazing. That's cool. Love the ragtop, how good is that? It's proper, very, very cool. Again, don't see many of these original style ragtops. Nice, very, very nice. Look at the engine bay, 1776 in the back. Looks rather nice, quite different, doesn't it? Here we are, we've come across the Low Life V Dub Club. Some more funky flip paint and lots of metallic in that, isn't there? Wow. I don't know if I trust my surfboard up there. Uh, I'm sure it'd be okay. Look at those seats. It's funky cool. Nice. Wow, and then you obviously get your matching deck chair and mini buggy to go with it as well. Look at that, whole family. Looney Dooney, this is very cool. Look how big the uh, screen is compared to that one. It just looks a lot bigger. Completely different shaped body, isn't it? Wow. Ron John Surf Shop. I like the twin aerials. They look cool. Can imagine them flapping about in the dunes. Oh, yeah. And the rollover bar. That looks quite substantial, doesn't it? The rollover bar. Look at the thickness of that. Yeah, I'd feel quite safe in that one, I think. The size of the sidebars. Very big. 
Very pink. Check that one out. Very pink indeed. Complete with matching poodle. Look at that. Not the pink one. I think I'll go for the middle one. I think I'll go Looney Juni. Yeah. I could see myself on that with the surfboard on the top. The big aerials whipping around in the dunes. Perfect. Great fun. I've just come across this stand of crazy looking trekkers. I mean, from the Shrekker, which is kind of cool. To a pretty standard looking trekker, which is very nice. Super cool camo. I'm loving the camo. It's very cool. Trekkers to, ah, oh, check out the little Lupos. They look cool. Something for everybody, isn't there? Really good. Here we are at the split screen van club. Not easy for me to say, but I did. Check it out, there's a real nice splitty here. I love this. Complete with picnic set, flask, and the photos. Check out the barn door panel vans. Look at this. Wow. Doors on the other side, that's like a step through all the way, isn't it? That's really cool. Don't see many of these at all. I like the sort of original finish on the outside. Inside looks mint, and the outside is just sort of as was. Looks really good. Complete with original corrosion. Look. Some really cool ice cream trucks. Check these out. Polly's Parlour. Very cute, aren't they? Nicely done. What are you having there, Nick? What should we have? Strawberry? Mint chip. Mint chip. Mint chip and strawberry, then. We're in full-on camper over here. Check this out. Love the pop top. That is amazing. Almost looks like it's got a full-on Arga in there. <laughs> How good is that? Wow. Everything you need. Absolutely everything you need. That's really cool. Fantastic. I like the floor. Cool. Well, that's most of the VWs looked at. I think we should take a little walk around and see what else we can find. Let's go and have a look. Talking of cutaway, it's a complete cutaway 911. How awesome is that? Loads of work has gone into that. Here's the other half of the Porsche Club stand. Check this out. Uh, 930 Turbo. Love these. Crazy, crazy 80s cars. Look at the size of the wing on the back. So it's 993 Porsche. I really love this colour. It's sort of really dark, but when you catch it in the light, you really see the blue. How cool is that? Love those wheels. Love the BBS wheels. Da, da, da. Ooh, something that's a bit of me. Yep, love a bit of that. Super understated car, these uh, Honda NSX. Beautiful things, actually, I quite enjoy these. Um, haven't seen them for a long, long time. People tend to hide these away. And I love the little uh, Ayrton Senna Tribute. Very understated, but very cool. If you love a bit of the 80s rally, check out the Lancia. Oh, he's cool. Crazy motors. And who doesn't love an Integrale? Iconic rally shape of the 80s, aren't they? Oh, and look at the Stratos. Very nice indeed. Wow, SC Sport fans. Look at the size of that. What a monster. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's even got a washing machine in there. I have to say, this is almost bigger than my house. Who doesn't love a cute little Renault? Look how good he is. Love it. Inline, front wheel drive. That's really cool. It's pretty cool. Carry your jerry can and your spare wheel on the roof. I like it. Also, you've got to remember the gear levers in these straight through the dash, look. So it comes up here, 
That's our gear linkage, which goes straight through the dash, and then look where it is. I remember that, baby. <laughs> Looks almost like an umbrella, doesn't it? <laughs> Hello, Dolly. I've got good memories of these, actually. As a, a kid, I was taken to school in one of these in sort of like early 80s. Yeah, I'm showing my age now, but great fun. Ooh. 1956 version. How cool is that? Really good looking thing. I like that. Simplicity of the seats. Check them out, they're like a deck chair. So that's our little tour complete of the uh, NEC classic motor show. Obviously there are loads and loads of different cars here. We looked at a few selection, selected uh, VWs and other bits and pieces, but there is such a wide variety that we didn't cover. Well worth a look. And I don't think you can do it all in one day. There's so much to see and do. So I'm gonna leave Nick to do the editing and I'm gonna go and have a proper look round.